incessant thoughts before bed, relatable AF. Today I'm going to teach you some of the tips and tricks that I personally use to ease anxiety and get some restful sleep. What's up guys, Savannah here from Blissful Bohemian Holistic Health for the Modern Day Hippie. If you've never seen my face before and you're into holistic health and wellness, feel free to hit that subscribe button. If you're back here again, you're a returning subscriber, hello, thank you for joining me in today's video. I got a cool new lapel mic, I'm feeling swaggy. If you didn't catch Thursday's video, I unboxed a Sonazona weighted blanket and it was amazing. I'm gonna link it right here, go check that out really quick. They have an amazing product. If you have anxiety, which you probably do because you're watching this video, go check out their blanket. I talk also a little bit about how weighted blankets work, what they do, and why they're so amazing. And also because you probably struggle with anxiety like I do, I have made for you, my dear, dear Bohemian, a coping with anxiety playlist. I'm gonna link it down below in one of the videos right here. It's all about different ways and situations that I have had to cope with as someone who is on the spectrum and deals with anxiety on the daily. Some of my tips and tricks, there are some things that I have learned over the years that um, maybe you find useful for yourself in your toolbox of coping mechanisms. So jumping right in, tip number one is to keep a bedtime. Set an alarm for not only when you wake up in the morning, but for when you go to bed and try to keep both of those times within half an hour of each other, okay? And come on, be disciplined. I believe in you, I know you can do this. It's for your health, it's so that you feel better every day and you're not dragging. Because if you keep on like a schedule and you put yourself in a sort of rhythm, and by the way, if you don't know what a circadian rhythm is, it's your natural sleep cycles. Um, it varies from person to person and this is what people are referring to when they say, oh, I'm a night person, I'm a day person, I'm a morning person. I encourage you to find a vocation slash lifestyle where you can wake up when it's most comfortable for you. For me, that's like 7, 30, 8 in the morning. Some people think I'm on crack for that. I'm not, <laughs> it's just my natural circadian rhythm. Um, so I set an alarm every day for 7, 30 and 11 p.m. and I don't really vary it much either way half like more or less half an hour and that way you're just on flow and getting up going to sleep is easy peasy lemon squeezy because you will actually be tired when you get into your bed which is amazing but then you know anxiety likes to step in and make things a little more complicated which is why we're going to get on to the next steps step number two is to avoid stimulants I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but some people don't know that caffeine can affect you up to 12 hours after you drink it. 12 hours, people. That's a long time. If you're going to bed at midnight and you're having like a noon at noon coffee or like an afternoon latte, it's going to affect you when you go to sleep that night or you try to go to sleep that night you're not gonna be able to. So if you're gonna have some caffeine in the afternoon, keep it light, just maybe a cup of tea or a decaf coffee, which by the way, a lot of people don't know that decaf coffee actually does have caffeine in it, it's just less than normal coffee. Oh, and also keep it light on the sugar. You don't want a blood sugar spike right before bed. Your body's gonna be like, zing, time to operate when it's not, it's time to go to sleep. So yeah, get your caffeine fix in the morning. Tip number three is to avoid both eating and exercise within three hours of going to sleep. That means if you're going to bed at midnight, do not eat or exercise after 9 p.m. Exercising is going to peak your heart rate and make it harder for you to fall asleep, to relax, to bring it down, and also going to sleep with a meal in your belly, like your stomach is trying to work through that and digest it. It's not ready to go to sleep, it's still trying to do its thing. And I'm sure some walking in the evening or like a snack is not gonna hurt you. I'm talking about full on workouts and full on meals. It's a no go within three hours of going to sleep. If you wanna go to sleep peacefully and, and not stay up and have your anxiety spin off the handle. Is that even a phrase? Spin off the handle? Tip number four is to limit light and sound before bed, one hour before bed, and in your sleeping environment slash bedroom. I'm not sure where else you would sleep. I, I don't know your life. This is a case again of having less stimulants. Less sugar, less food, less worked upness from your exercise, less 
sound and light around you. So what do we automatically think of when we think of light at nighttime? Your phone. We need to get into the habit as a culture, a social media culture, because that's where we are at this point, right? Us millennials and Gen Zs. We need to get in the habit of putting our phones to bed. So every night I take my phone, my dear lovely phone, and I put it across the room and tuck it in and say, I love you so much, good night, I'll see you tomorrow. And then I get in my bed and I read a book or I close my eyes or I do like a guided meditation or I put on 432 Hertz music, which if you haven't checked that out, go search for it in the search bar. Amazing stuff. It's like supposed to be a healing frequency. Go check it out. I like to put that on and read in the evening, have some tea. Don't bring your phone with you to bed. Just don't. There's so many reasons I could argue why. This is going back to like that discipline I talked about in the beginning of the video. Put it to sleep, okay? Put it to bed. It doesn't need to come with you because all you're gonna do is feed your addiction, one, and two, have it available to you, the addict. <laughs> Um, and just have that like light exposure and that's just gonna tell your brain like oh light that means be awake Stay awake. You're just gonna scroll and scroll and uh, what are you looking at? What are you are you doing anything productive? I'm sure you've already looked at your timelines like the mindless scrolling has got to stop people if you want to go to bed and Ease your anxiety in order to fall asleep put your phone sleep put it away Oh, and also eye masks <laughs> for light pollution in your sleeping chamber Eye masks are like, in my opinion, a must. So are blackout curtains. Just get that light out of here. We don't need it. You're actually gonna be able to fall into a deeper sleep and get that REM cycle, that deep dreamy sleep, the restful restorative stuff, the less light that you have in your room. And tip number five for easing anxiety and falling into deep restful sleep is to have a routine. I love routines, obviously, right? I've on the spectrum. Routines are my thing. They are my, they are my jam. I love routines, but the reason that I recommend routines in the morning and in the evening for everyone is because of the Pavlov phenomena where the brain associates certain repetitive actions with anticipating other actions. So like I like to eat chocolate dark chocolate a little bit before the gym. It gives me some healthy fats, a little bit of, a little boost of energy and blood sugar. It tells my brain that, oh, we're about to go to the gym. We just ate some dark, dark chocolate, let's go. Same thing for bed. If you wanna read before bed, if you want to say your prayers, if you want to write in your journal, if you want to have a cup of tea, if you wanna put on your favorite show, Get something, it doesn't have to be complex, it can be just one thing that you do every night before bed where your brain goes, oh, I'm doing this, it must be time to go to sleep. That's gonna help you unwind. And if all else fails, meditate, take some deep belly breaths. I'm gonna put my video on meditation up here. I also like to use the app Simple Habit. This video is not sponsored by them, but I love their app so, so much. It is free to use. Put on a guided meditation before bed. That's, I guess, tip number six. If all else fails and you're unable to control yourself with putting yourself to sleep and putting your phone to sleep, put on a guided meditation from Simple Habit. They have ones made specifically for sleeping, for falling asleep, and it knocks me out 10 times out of 10, even on nights where my thoughts are just like blah, 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 blah. Check it out. I highly recommend them. Simple Habit, if you're watching this, I don't know, make me an affiliate, sponsor me something. I love your product, I talk about it all the time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope these tips will help you out. I hope that maybe I spoke to something in you that you already knew you had to do. Maybe lit that fire under your butt a little bit more. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe for more holistic health content. And if you're into this whole health and wellness scene, Come join the Bohemians Facebook group. Link is down below. It's a great place to keep your motivation and inspiration high on your health and fitness journey. Thank you so much for watching again. I hope you guys have a great sleep tonight. Love you so much.